I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hi my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Gemini. Now, I also do your weekly you versus them reading, Gemini, between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But Gemini, when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you also gemini be sure to let me know in the comments below because i love keeping up with y'all i love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards because that's just how i keep up with y'all is through the comments and if you find a card that resonates with you libra or i almost called you libra i guess i did technically gemini if you find a card that resonates with you gemini be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help my channel a lot i always am super appreciative when you take the time to do that for me gemini and then lastly, be sure to put this in perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life, Gemini. I'm just here to give you some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week. But with all that being said, let's get into your general reading this week, Gemini. The moon card that we have for you this week is the full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Now, for this card to be coming forward, this is letting me know that... Regardless of if it's in regards to your career, uh, Gemini, or in regards to a person, I do see things starting to just like work out a little bit better for you. Now, because it's the full moon in Cancer, I am getting a sense where it's just like a your loved ones in this case, someone, people that you hold close, more so an energy, I guess, that you hold closely to you. And then you have the, for your tarot side of things, the Ace of Wands, as well as the Four of Cups. So for this dynamic, uh, Gemini, I almost called you Libra again, uh, this is letting me know, <sighs> this is like a frustration energy, Gemini. It's like a frustration energy and you're ready to get the ball rolling. It almost feels like you probably have been in this type of uh, loop or in this type of limbo, perhaps, of where... You don't know what to, like, maybe like a stalemate, a uh, place where it's just like you don't know what to make of a situation. And with this Ace of Wands, I just see forward move movement happening. Now, whether that's on your end of things or just energetically where things, the ball just starts getting rolling, I will find out through tarot, but I am getting the sense, Gemini, that you're probably the one where it's just like, you know what, I'm ready to, like, let's get this finished. Let's come, let's get this, uh... A personal issue to a resolution. Let's get this figured out because you're done having it hang over your head. You're done having to constantly be thinking about this. You can't ever, it's almost as if like a, your life hasn't been able to continue on until this issue was addressed, until uh, this was talked about in some type of way, Gemini. So now let's start getting into the uh, actual tarot side of things. Uh, we're going to start getting into your career situation first, Gemini, and then we will get into your social situations and then just general messages that Spirit has for you for this uh, coming week for you. So let's get into the cards for your career. Let's see. Is this card? <sighs> okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Gemini. The Seven of Pentacles is letting me know of something that you've been working on for a while, right? I always use the example or the analogy with the Seven of Pentacles, Gemini, as someone that's like planting avocado seeds, right? Avocados are great and lovely, uh, <laughs> but in order to get them, you don't just plant an avocado seed and expect by next summer or even by next month that things are going to... Uh, your tree is going to bear fruit. Your seed's going to just give you a bunch of av avocados. I think I read, I remember like learning at one point that uh, an avocado tree takes like over 20 years before it starts even bearing fruit. Now, Gemini, I'm not saying for your career, it's going to take 20 years before you start seeing the results of something. But what I am trying to get across is that um, there is probably a level of patience that needs to happen in terms of your career. You have maybe like a level where you need to remind yourself of the seeds that you planted and thinking on in regards to the long term of what it is you're trying to accomplish, right? You may not get those immediate results, but you know, you can at least appreciate things starting to sprout, right? 
uh, things starting to show signs of growth in some type of way. May not be dramatic uh, growth, right? May not be growth that uh, you would like to be uh, have in your time frame, but it's still growth nonetheless. So we have the death card coming in as the back of the deck energy. So definitely you guys are in this transitional phase. Oh, I'm looking at this uh, other card as well. You guys are definitely in this place of, um, I don't know, for some of you Geminis, maybe either you like switch jobs, maybe like something in your job situation, there's just like um, something big happening. I do just get like a big adjustment, a big transition happening for your job. With that death card, it does let me know like the ending of some type of thing. Maybe it has to just do with like, um, perhaps like your impatience, right? Or I get more so like the sense of like the approach, more so in terms of your finances, Gemini. Your approach on how you're handling things because you have the tower card coming in as well. Now, when the tower card comes in, I know it's a spooky card, but the other cards that you have with it kind of like lighten the load a little bit but when the tower card comes in i do see this as kind of like a sudden shift in the sense of it almost just feels like gemini like you've taken this sudden shift in your approach to it and i feel like that's going to be like the theme for your reading um the approach that you're taking towards the matters of your life with that ace of wands from before it's just you, you know, how I was saying before, Gemini, where it's like, I'm not sure if you're the one taking action and uh, doing it, or if it's just like the uh, energies of things where it's like a lot more forward movement. Um, but with this Tower card coming in with your King Knight of Coins, as well as the King of Wands, this is letting me know that it's you, actually, that's in, uh, responsible for these. Uh, I don't want to say you're the one responsible for that tower moment, right? I feel like that probably kind of caught you off guard, perhaps. But I do get the sense of where it's like... It's like you wake up one day again, where it's just like you make the decision being like, you need to have like a, you need things to come to a resolution. So it doesn't have to be an issue necessarily. I mean, in regards to your career or money wise, it could, your issue could just be that you want more money, right? I mean, we all have that issue, right? But <laughs> regardless, I see you with this Knight of Coins and this uh, King of Wands, you're going out there, you're in this place of really challenging yourself, really pushing yourself, Gemini, to really work your um, financial bone a little bit. That probably doesn't even make any sense, right? To really see pushing your potential almost, right? Uh, with this Knight of Pentacles, this is letting me know you're probably taking a risk of some sort, right? You know, this would be kind of like giving me an energy of... Um, taking a chance perhaps and maybe like let's give in a scenario i guess better off to like relay this this the message of this gemini it's almost as if you quit your job and then you have plans to like plant those avocado trees you want an avocado farm form and it's like you had to do away with that that's why you have that death card and that tower card you know you had to make more time if you wanted to have that avocado farm and it's because of this like you're put, you're you're all in with it, regardless of whatever it is. You're just completely all in with this energy, Gemini, where it's just like, you know what? You're there's no plan B. You're not giving yourself you don't have any other option besides moving forward. And where you're moving forward into, it can kind of seem spooky, right? Because it's that unknown, right? I always see the Knight of Pentacles as someone that is traveling into uncharted territories where you don't know really what to make of the situation. You don't know the promise of it. All you can really know is um, the effort that you can put into it, right? All you know is that each day that you wake up, you're waking up and putting fertilizer on your avocado seeds. You're watering them, right? You're tending to it. You're just putting in you're all with this, right? You're just, it's very much so an all in, all in or nothing energy for your career, Gemini. But overall, I'm not seeing anything bad, right? Let's pull like one more card to see like the result of this. Just so maybe I can relieve the anxiety that some of my Geminis might feel. Because I can understand that it can be kind of spooky to see all those cards, <laughs> that death card and that tower card, right? Ace of Cups. So your cup's going to run it over. It does confirm to me that you are going to get your payout. The avocado trees do uh, grow. They do give you avocados. Your trees do bear plant, uh, fruit, 
right? In essence, right? So it does seem to be worth taking that risk. It does seem to, like, your all or nothing energy does seem to give you a payout, I guess, uh, Gemini. So that's good. So let's get into your social situation now, Gemini. The Queen of Wands came flying out for you, and you need to shuffle. So in, in regards to your social situation, it does seem to be, um, the Queen of Wands is, again, that card of, like, taking charge, right? You even notice this queen is holding up the wand, the singular wand. So it's kind of this Ace of Wands is following you in a sense. And I also just want to point out, like I always do, Gemini, when I see a bunch of Aces, it does show to me like an affirmation of really going ahead with something right and this queen of wands is really just asserting her independence when it comes to this social situation so if you are if you are dealing with a that personal issue that reaches a resolution it does seem to be you're the one that's like let's have a conversation you're the one being like okay we need to sit down and we need to talk this out because you're tired of um having this hang over your head. You're ready for some type of forward movement in regards to this, whether it's with this person or without them, right? Because the Queen of Wands is somebody who is perfectly okay with being alone. And so the clarifiers that we have for you, we have the Page of Coins. So a new beginning, right? It's almost just like a, hmm, I like this. We have the Page of Coins. I'll get back to that in a moment, Gemini. We have the Page of Coins, we have the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Eight of Wands. A lot of Wands energy, a lot of fiery energy for you. You could be dealing with the Fire sign, Gemini, but I pay no mind to that when it comes to these general readings, right? Hundreds of people are receiving this reading. Chances of them all being Fire signs are close to slim, but it does represent forward movement all the same. And it's just like, uh, with this dynamic, it's just like, okay, like, let's release this baggage, right? Let's really come at this from a place of wanting to continue moving forward, right? This Ten of Wands is that baggage card or whatever that social situation is, whatever that baggage is in your dynamic. It could be like a little bit of a fight. It could be like a misunderstanding. It could be whatever your situation is, right? You're wanting to have this place where it's just like, let's move on from this, let's go, let's just like keep it going, right? Let's have this fresh start with this page of coins, a new sense of stability, right? Let's really go back to a place where we can really just thrive, right? Because that's the thing. I feel like you're just in this state where, again, it's, it's, I almost am getting the sense where it's just like you're having this all or nothing energy with every aspect of your life, not just your career, even with your social situations where it's just like, you're tired of the energy that you're sitting in. You're tired of like the uh, rut that you might be feeling like you're in and you're just ready. Back of the deck energy, Ace of Wands. Again, going forward. But this also does confirm to you what I was saying at the beginning of the reading, Gemini for this where it's i do get the sense that you're the one just taking action on this you're not waiting anymore you're tired of waiting you know maybe you just gave them enough time to like figure it out themselves and they're not so it's just like okay it's so like time is of the essence honey like what what is your answer like what what are we doing here what are we all right so with all that being said gemini we're going to get into your last row this row is going to be the messages uh, from your spirit guide those three cards wanted to come out, so we'll go with this. So, and this is just general messages. So, interesting cards that came out. We have the three of wands. Again, this is just <laughs> more wands energy, Gemini. This is letting me know you are just... It makes sense as to why you're in this all or nothing energy, because you've really reflected on your life. You've really uh, taken account for where you are in your life, where you're trying to go, and it's almost like this is the first time you've really done this. And so now it's just like, um, now that your eyes are open, uh, now that you really refoc refocus, maybe you've lost sight and your goals and your mission that you have in this life, maybe your life purpose, right? We're going to get that dramatic, Gemini. You have the star card coming in. It's the wish fulfillment. It's where you're, it's also a card of cleansing with the six of cups as well. It speaks of a past energy. So this could be one of two ways. You could just be releasing the past so you go forward into your future. And this kind of could signify where it's like past energy, stuff that's was that served you at one point no longer is serving you. You're seeing that as like the, I don't want to say dead weight because that sounds aggressive and demeaning, right? But you're just seeing that it's no longer serving you and probably was weighing you down from not being able to reach your star moment. To, and you know, the star is like that wish, for, it is the wish fulfillment card. Your dream's coming true. The star card is talking about just the cleanse 
cleansing of weight, releasing of weight, things that are weighing you down, stresses and all that. And I feel like you only got to this point because of this three of wands where you really took account for your life and where it's leading you towards right now, currently. So beautiful energy, beautiful energy. We're going to pull a couple more clarifiers before this, before we close out this uh, reading for you, Gemini. Back of the deck energy, Queen of Swords. So you're definitely setting up boundaries, very strong boundaries. A lot of um, Queen energy following you throughout this reading as well, Gemini. So you're really just exuding a very strong sense of self. You're really being very, dare I say, vocal this week. You're really letting it be known your likes and dislikes, what is upsetting you, what isn't. You're letting it be, you're speaking up if you feel disrespected now. It is just where you probably are just at this point, Gemini, where it's just like, you know your worth, you know um, what you deserve, and you're no longer accepting anything less. And so with that three of wands, you like went back to the drawing board and be like, wait a minute, like, why is this, why are these people, why are, why are these things this way, right? This is not what, you, this is not what you're here on this earth for. Clarifiers I pulled for you, five of wands, <laughs> more wands, but this is the conflict card, which is what I was kind of anticipating. Um, this is what you're going away from. This is what you're releasing from. It's just the conflicts of your life. Now, I was speaking in terms of people, right, Gemini, but I don't, it doesn't have to be. And in regards to your social situations, anyways, you have the ten of cups and the two of cups. So for my Geminis in a relationship, um, if your social situations was in regards to like, if the spread for your social situations is regard to this person, your relationship, I do see it panning out beautifully. But regard this, Ten of Cups, all your cups filling over, right? You're really coming into this. It lets me know it's mission accomplished, right? You, the work that you do on, like, releasing the things that you need to release, you really op not only, like open up the energies to allow new energies to come into your life that actually like help uplift you to reach you to that star. But not only with that, you find really deep connections, you find purpose, right? This is a, these two dying cards together. It's just like you find such purpose, you feel extremely fulfilled. Um, and it's quite literally what it was you worked so hard to get to, right? I feel like this row is just like the end result of everything is like, this is like the avocado tree. This is the avocados that you work so hard to get, right? Such a silly reference, right? <laughs> so to close off this reading, we're going to do two more moon cards. Gemini, your new moon, gem communication is key. I always want to say new beginnings. So isn't it kind of fitting that you're having like this new moon come in with all this new energy where it's just like you're just ready for a new, starting a new. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. So definitely this is just like a week of where you're being challenged, challenging on, challenging you probably of you using your voice and setting boundaries where you need to set boundaries and just using your voice and speaking up for what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want, Gemini. So beautiful reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know in the comments. And then also I would really appreciate it for you to share this video with a friend if you think you know someone that might be into my messages. Until next time though, Gemini, I love you so much.